Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, we got issues. We've got a major mega earthquake just off the coast of El Salvador, a 7.0. Now, it was first reported at 7.2. The U.S. Geological Survey has brought it down to 7.0. It just happened about 48 minutes ago. It rattled El Salvador, the Pacific coast there. Uh, but there's no immediate reports yet of damage or injuries, but it's way too early, way too early in that part of the world. It's just too early. They just can't get the media. They just can't get the reports out quick enough. I'd almost guarantee you we got some problems. Now, the one major concern you got to have here is a tsunami because this thing was extremely shallow, only 10.3 kilometers 7.0, rocking, shaking, rattling, and rolling in El Salvador. Matter of fact, reports are the possibility there is a tsunami alert. I repeat, there is a tsunami alert. Possible waves as high as six feet are expected to hit the coast of El Salvador, also expected to hit the coast of Nicaragua. All right. Now, the, the, and Nicaragua has also put out a tsunami alert. Uh, the quake was 92 miles off the coast of El Salvador. Uh, there's a, there, and also, don't forget, Nicaragua is already dealing with Hurricane Otto. What? So uh, it has just made landfall. Uh, in Nicaragua on the, uh, over there in the Caribbean coast on that side. So Nicaragua has a hurricane, has a hurricane auto hitting it right now. And then a potential tsunami, a six foot high wave coming to the other side of the coast because of an earthquake off the coast of El Salvador. We're going to keep a close eye on all of this because this is really, really, really strange situation. I mean, you talk about rare. This is extremely rare. Matter of fact, I'm just going to do one quick update on the Hurricane Auto right right now and and just see where we stand with this thing uh, as it's making landfall. Yes, uh, they're now expecting... Uh, life-threatening flash flooding taking place as Hurricane Otto is making landfall in Nicaragua. Possible uh, mudslides, landslides, uh, Nicaragua and Costa Rica. So Hurricane Otto hitting Nicaragua over on the Caribbean side and an earthquake sending a tsunami toward Nicaragua excuse me, on the other side. Are you serious? You talk about the apocalypse. The apocalypse. I mean, that's really about what you've got going on here off the coast of El Salvador and Nicaragua. We'll continue to keep a close eye on all of this, Costa Rica as well. And, uh, and there's been chaos around the world, scaffolding collapsing in China, killing 67, a car bomb in Iraq, killing 57, a car bomb in Turkey, killing two and injuring 33. There's been a mass shooting in Louisville, Kentucky, killing two, wounding four. There's outrageous fires, just wildfires burning out of control all over Israel, including the Haifa area where 60,000 people have been evacuated. And there's fires burning now in the city of Jerusalem. These are arsonists. Now it's being de- determined they have been set by arsonists and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is uh, doing everything he can, uh, and he's asking other countries to come help him. The Russians have arrived. Uh, Croatia is helping. Cyprus is helping. Uh, We still have heard no word yet from President Obama and the United States, Uh, but that's where we're at right now. Pray for Israel, and and boy, this, this is crazy what's going on right now. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to Bible prophecy. You say, well, pastor, there's nothing in here about this in the Bible. Well, you haven't read, apparently you haven't read the signs of the end times because in Matthew 24, the Bible says, there'll be false Christ and false prophets shall rise and they shall deceive many. 
You shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. The end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There'll be famines, pestilence, earthquakes in diverse places. Now here's what it also says. These are beginning of sorrows. That's Matthew 24. But if you run over to Luke 21, it says there'll be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. The stress of nations with perplexity. Well, that's a lot of car bombs and wars. There'll be commotions. There'll be uh, signs in the sun, the moon, stars, and the stress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. All right. Men's hearts have failed them for fear, for looking after those things coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud of power and great glory. When you begin to see these things come to pass, folks, he says, look up, lift up your head for your redemption is drawn nigh. Pray for Nicaragua and El Salvador as this earthquake and tsunami alerts, 7.0 earthquake with tsunami alerts and simultaneously Hurricane Otto, huge, it's a, ma it's a monster coming ashore on the other side of Nicaragua and Costa Rica. Are you serious? Give your life to Jesus Christ. This is the last days, days of chaos.